This podcast is brought to you by Enlightening Learners Academic Coaching and Tutoring. To section one, we're going to learn how to graph integers on a number line. Go ahead and read through the guided questions. These are the questions that you'll need to be able to answer by the end of this presentation. Some vocabulary terms that you need to know. Integers include positive and negative numbers. They can be placed on a number line. Uh, these numbers include fractions or decimals. Um, a negative number is any number that's less than zero. And a positive number is any number that's greater than zero. With regards to a number line, if zero were placed in the middle, positive numbers would go in this direction and negative numbers would go in that and to the left. The next vocabulary term you'll need to know is absolute value. An absolute value is the distance from zero in any direction, be it positive or negative. We'll get more into that in a little bit. Here's our number line from small to large with zero in the middle. Now this goes to infinity to the right and it goes to infinity to the left. When we look at comparing integers we're talking about what goes to the right. If we have two-thirds that would fit somewhere between zero and one. If we've got a negative 5 over 2, that can be simplified to a compound fraction. 2 goes into 5 twice, and there's 1 left over. So it becomes negative 2 and a half. Negative 2 and a half on the number line falls right there and be written as negative 5 over 2. If you're being asked to compare these two numbers, that being a negative 5 over 2 and a 2 thirds. 2 thirds is larger than negative 5 over 2. We could also convert these to decimals. This would be a 2.5 negative, and this would be a 0.66. Now, because it falls to the right, we say that 2 thirds is larger. The negative 2.5. An easy way to remember this is the old adage, which, which is the alligator. The alligator is the inequality sign, and the alligator always eats the largest number. In the case of negative 2 and negative 8, if we're going to graph these on a number line, negative 2 would be here, negative 8 would fall here, and because negative 2 is to the right of negative 8, it's larger. Now when we talk about absolute value, we're talking about the distance from 0 to any number on the number line. Absolute value refers to the distance that we travel on the number line. And any kind of distance is always the number. So when you're asked to evaluate this, this is asking you what's the absolute value of negative 5, and the answer is 5. Additionally, we don't talk about signs when we talk about absolute value. We're just talking about the number. So the absolute value of positive 5 is also 5. Now, we're talking about 2 minus 7, the absolute value of 2 minus 7. Remember, the absolute value is the distance from 0 to any number on a number line. 2 minus 5, two, excuse me, 2 minus 7 is technically a negative 5. Well, the absolute value of negative 5 is 5.